So in this video, uh, a viewer asked uh, how to start communication. Uh, and if you're part of the channel, uh, you'd have seen uh, the problems uh, that we encounter uh, in the last video that I uploaded. But in this video, I'm gonna try and cover about starting communication, actually uh, going to the spirit world for the first time or, or, or trying to do a communication with a friend or someone that's gonna sit uh, uh, for you as a recipient and start getting the mind in the right place, uh, the right gear for spirit communication. There's going to have to be a little bit of background there, so this video is not going to be the shortest of videos, um, but I will try and cover it. It, it could take many, many videos as, uh, as those of us that have developed for many, many years know how much effort has gone into that development um, but it's just to get the people that are just starting their journey uh, an idea of uh, of what to do and how to start so we have to remember where mediumship has come from and you would have gone to like a center a spiritual church you know a closed circle an open circle there's so many uh, variants there um, but in the in, in the years gone by, you would have gone to like a, an awareness circle, and this is just for you to become aware of your own being. This would require meditation, sitting in the power, uh, all of which I've got videos on. Um, but in, in those uh, earlier years of mediumship development, you would have been there for like a year or two years, just in awareness, just understanding energy, um, how your energy is working and this is where the idea of open and close would have come from uh, open your mind to the world of spirit close your mind to the world of spirit so on and so forth the problem that we have is when we're trying to become aware uh, uh, before going on to development uh, which would have been another circle another class another tutor uh, but in this video we're just going to put it all together now is that you would have to get your mind ready to be ready for the spirit world. So you'd have sat for your time doing meditation, guided meditation, silent meditation, sitting in the power, uh, working with uh, a guide or a person. And what, what tutors did or um, teachers did at that time was, was give you an ability to use uh, a part of the mind, the imagination usually, uh, through the, the visual aspects, you know, visualize the guide and this would be someone um, dependent on who you are and what your mind is about uh, on the importance of this person um, or people. Uh, and what happens is we develop a, an avatar within our mind that we are comfortable going to sit with, we are comfortable going to communicate with. This person is always there, therefore we have this feeling of safety um, and we will then learn to express. Bear in mind that this is now maybe two years in, possibly a third year in, and you are so comfortable with going to sit with this person at a park or a meadow or a cave and, and you've built up this uh, repertoire uh, with said avatar. And then what happens is we get caught in the, in the, the mind where, where we start diluting, we start questioning what it is and are we going to express it and are we going to do this. But you are now three years into a, a development program, a self-awareness program and a development program and still we're not really communicating with the spirit world. So fast forward a number of years and tuition and teachers uh, are approaching mediumship differently, me included. I was someone that would sit in a classroom and they'd be doing their guided meditations, which I've done videos on before, and it just wasn't working for me. Uh, I'd go to the caves and meadows and sit in canoes and all that kind of stuff just didn't work for me. It wasn't, wasn't for me. Uh, and I'm sure there are people that watch this uh, video or, or are part of the channel uh, where some of the things just haven't worked for them through my way or through the way that they had been taught hadn't worked for them. That's why they found the channel. So what we have to do is we have to understand the mind. I think this is what the awareness and development part is. And in that process, we can then understand how we are working, how our mind works and how the imagination works. Therefore, we can then express the interpretation of what's going on. So hopefully at this point, for those people that are looking for it, this isn't too much. This is I'm trying to make this as simple and as easy as possible. For those of you that have been part of a channel for a while or you're in development for a while, maybe even play along. Just see how this way works for you. Uh, it may work for you, it may not, may be a problem for you. Um, but that would be something to let me know in the comments.
So firstly, what we've got to do is we've got to get you to express the problem as I expressed in the last video, is that there is an expectancy from a new student. There is an idea. They have read this book. They have watched this video. They have listened to this person. And because of that, they are waiting for this big moment for it to happen. And mediumship is very subtle. It's very, very subtle. And so what we have to do is understand that we have to express what is going on. We have to express what's going on in our mind, uh, through our sensitivity, uh, and then give that words. So ideally, if you're someone that's just setting out, like the viewer was to ask the question, is there anything you can do or uh, 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 direct me in a way, you need someone that you can sit and practice with. You need someone that will be the, the guinea pig as such. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get you to express the moment the mind uh, it is in the right place. And what I mean by that for the for the new people is that the mind is so, so powerful that if I just make the idea like, right, I'm going to the spirit world, I'm immediately aware of the spirit world. So that's going to be a communicator. Uh, and now I'm going to try my absolute best through my sensitivity to express what it is that I'm going through right now. So what are they trying to uh, give me within my mind and this in my mind will be evidence stroke information The problem the new student has is they don't know what to do or is it me making it up? Uh, I don't know if that's right or I can't feel anything. I'm not aware of anything So the first hurdle we have to overcome is that they are absolutely there So there is no doubt in that they are absolutely there. It's omnipresent it, It's here every minute of every day so if you can't find it, it's you that can't find it, but I know it's absolutely there. So it's that your mind is so, so powerful. So if I say to you, uh, imagine a white dog, uh, and in your imagination, the white dog is starting to form. You know, some of you will have a brilliant white dog, some of you will have a dirty white dog, some of you will have a, a white dog with a brown patch, and so on and so forth. And what's happening is the mind is starting to give you the idea uh, and to use that idea they only have your mind to use that imagination with and so for you to speak about the white dog to someone uh, this is the avatar that is going off in your mind all our dogs will be different there will be different backgrounds there'll be different everything because it's unique to us as individuals now to show you how powerful the mind is do not think of that white dog again and you're all thinking of that white dog again. You can't help it. The mind does that. That's what the mind's doing. So while you're trying to move your attention away from it, it's actually consumed your attention, and that's all you can think of. That's how strong the mind is. So now, move your mind to the spirit world is just a, a thought. That's it. Spirit world, and now I'm aware. And because of that awareness, now I have to describe what is going on. Now the biggest mistake that everyone talks about is the, the eyes or the wrinkles of the eyes or the skin tone, uh, the skin color, the hair color, the hair length, the clothes that they wear. When all of this is nothing, it's just a nothingness because it's the avatar in your mind that is, is formulating this figure in your imagination for you to speak. So if I asked you to give me a businessman description, in your mind, there will be a box for a businessman description. And again, all of us will have a very unique way of describing that. It may be their appearance, their clothing, their background, the, the detail that's with, within the room that, that, that is within your mind. And through this expression, he's at a desk, he's got a briefcase, he's wearing a suit, we are expressing businessmen and it's that simple so you have to override the is this me because it is absolutely you but it has to be you because it's your imagination that the spirit world are trying to give the avatar to so you express now if you just take this very 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 simple mechanic and sit with someone with uh, uh, the same intention of you, you know, I'm here to help you, I'm here to listen, I'm here to give you feedback. As you start describing, 
and as you get it right, you'll know you've got it right because it'll feel right. And there'll be other things that feel so wrong and your client, your recipient will be sitting there going, not a clue what you're talking about, no idea. And then at the end, they'll give you a little bit of feedback. You know, that, that reminded me of this and that made my mind go here. And through this development, you will learn to be better at expression. But you have to express. This is the hardest bit. This is the bit that is so, so difficult. Now, if you are waiting for that magic moment where someone's just going to walk in, in your mind or within the room that you're sitting in, so you can just describe them as you are seeing them, like I see this camera in front of me, like you see me in front of you, you, are, you will wait forever. It's not going to happen that way. It's through uh, a, a subjective uh, viewpoint and that can only take place in the mind of the individual, you. And so now we need to get you expressing. So to start communication, for the viewer that's asking uh, for a video to start, this is going to be the best place to start. Get it wrong, get it right, get it kind of in between. And with lots and lots of practice of this mechanic, you will eventually learn Oh, that always feels wrong and then they tell me I'm wrong and that always felt like it was so pinpoint perfect and the client saying yep that was perfect you learn through your experience when you're right when you're wrong when you're kind of not quite there uh, and then you can start being honest with it I know I'm right I know this don't feel quite right but I'm gonna say it anyway and, and you learn this expression you you start to move the expression what you mustn't do is compare yourself to your friend or, or the person that you are developing with or someone else. You must not compare because the mind is completely unique to you, the individual. And my mind will work completely different to your mind and completely different to the next mind. And so what we're all we're doing is learning to express the avatar that is being placed within our mind, whether that is as a feeling, as a sound, as a vision, as a fill in the blank. We still have to learn to get it out, learn to speak it, to express it, to, to give it words so a uh, receiver of that information can, can acknowledge or disagree uh, with you and your expression. Now what tends to happen when, when things like this go on is we make massive mistakes and we go in with the same questions time and time and time again and this will work this will absolutely work i mean there are people out there on platform doing the same five six questions in their mind getting those five six answers delivering it and they get through the evening and they are deemed good you know so you've got absolutely no problems with that what i would like you to try if you're if you're new to this or uh, you have been a veteran of this try to offer the mind freely, unrestricted. You know, what is it you wanna say? Here goes my mind to the spirit world. Whoever joins me, what is it you wanna say? And let them dictate the story. Um, you will find a much fuller communication, um, a little bit out of everyone's comfort zone. And I can't sit here and say that I'm never pulled out of my comfort zone. There are some very uncomfortable things I, I, I have to do or say or see or feel, um, but I'm learning expression. I am in development. I will always be in development like you will always be in development. So to the viewer that asked, give this a go. It's People are making it so, so much harder than it needs to be. So hopefully I've cleared that bit up. Find someone, have a little go, try it. The open part of the communication is my intent. I want to work for the spirit world and what do you know I'm aware of? And then when I'm done, I don't want to connect to the spirit world anymore. Uh, I'm off to work. I'm off to pick the kids up. I'm off to make dinner. I'm off for a walk. Whatever it'll be, it's the closed down um, mechanic that, that you would have read about or you may be fearful of. So that's that cleared up, the open and the close. When you want to communicate, you communicate. When you don't, you don't. And that's exactly the same as in real life. I want to talk to someone, I'll pick up the phone, I'll go and meet them, I'll have a coffee, I'll have a chat, and then when I'm done, I leave. And that's exactly the same as you do in your head when you're communicating with the spirit world. So give it a go. 
to the viewer that asked me for the for the video. Um, I can't remember your name, but you, you'll know this video is for you because you would have asked that question. Uh, and hopefully some of you get something from it. This is a very, very simple mechanic and one that doesn't take three years to get you to. So this is uh, immediate. It will be up and running immediate. I can absolutely guarantee that they are going to be there uh, because they will absolutely be there. It's omnipresent. It's here every minute of every day. So you just have to find it making mediumship extremely easy. So if you like the video, obviously give it that thumbs up. You, you've all learned now that we need this as uh, uh, YouTubers to, to get the algorithm to notice the video and push it out to more people. So please hit that thumbs up if you find any kind of value in it or you just want to support me and the channel. Get in the comments, obviously, if you've tried it, let me know. If you're new to it, let me know. Let me know how you got on and maybe videos can come off of the back of it because it's not just for advanced people or, or, or veterans of mediumship. It's for, it's for people that are looking into it or uh, experimenting and, and trying to find what this thing mediumship is. It's for you guys as well. So more videos can come off it. The more you engage, the more videos get done. Share it if, you, if you've got a group or anything like that because I need the coverage. That also helps the channel and pushing the videos out to the right areas. And for now, I'll sign off and I'll see you all in the next video.